Do you have a few of your uh, other HL teammates in the building tonight? Right? Yeah, I think uh, they're planning on coming down and watching me, so that'll be pretty cool. Obviously, my Billet family will be down, so uh, it'll be a special game for sure. Reed, when you look at uh, the Penticton tournament to start up, start things off, rookie camp, now training camp, preseason game yesterday, what's been the biggest lesson for you so far? Yeah, obviously just the pace of play has been uh, a big difference for sure. Obviously, rookie rookie tournament there was a step up, and now with the big boys, it's even a bigger step. So, um, you know, to keep up with them, uh, it's, an, it's just an adjustment for sure. But, um, you know, I'm having fun, and it's, it's really fun and exciting. So, What's it like rubbing shoulders with some of the big guys, especially Leon and Connor, and are you asking a lot of questions around the group? Yeah, I've talked to them a bit. Um, obviously, fanboying a little bit. Obviously, <laughs> you watch them um, when you're growing up, or you just watch them when you're in junior. So, um, you know, it's pretty special to be on the same ice and in the same vicinity of them. And uh, you know, I'm just soaking it all in. You played on the biggest, most physical team in the WHL last night. You went in the corner a couple times with Logan Stanley. A little bit, a uh, little bit different experience, maybe than uh, some of the guys that you've played against in the Western League over the last couple of years. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, obviously, that Stanley guy reminds me of a guy like Matt Rampey, both six eight. Uh, I like to throw the body around, but uh, you know, it's good. Um, you know, they're physical, and you know, I'm a big boy. I can handle that. So, um, yeah. Pete, how nervous were you last night? And what did you maybe do to, to calm those nerves? Yeah, I was pretty nervous going in the game. Um, you know, it's a big crowd. Obviously, I haven't played in front of that many fans before, so uh, that was definitely weird. But um, I think just for me, I think it was just to get those first two shifts out of the way and uh, I got a little bit more comfortable after that. And a little power play time too. That, uh, what did that do for maybe your confidence or just kind of getting into the lines in that way? Yeah, it's a confidence booster for sure, obviously. Um, you know, being a net front guy, it's, uh, it's a role that, you know, I, I'm. I, I want to play, and especially on the power play, you know, it, it takes trust in the coaches to put you out there. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty special. What do you take away from this whole experience? You know, the rookie camp, uh, main camp, a couple preseason games. Yeah, it just shows you what it takes to be at the pro level. Obviously, um, you know, the first three strides is a big, big, big thing. Uh, the, the pace play. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, learning what it takes and, and what I have to do to get here. So. That's Pretty important because they can talk about it all they want, but until you see it firsthand, you don't really get a sense of where you are and what you need to be. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they, you know, you can you can talk about it, but once you get the experience, then you can actually uh, work on it. So, are you thinking that Seattle have the best team in the Western League this year since you got so close last year to beat the Elks? Yeah, I think we're a runner-up for the best team uh, in the league. I think we're gonna make it hard for the other teams to win it all. So. Uh, you know, it's going to be special and very exciting for sure. How much are you going to embrace a leadership role on that team this year? Yeah, that'll be huge. Obviously, I want to step up into a leadership role and uh, help the young guys out. Um, you know, I just want to be there for them and, you know, be a role model for them. Thanks, Reed. Thanks, Reed. Thank you. Thank you.